today i have with me a fantastic um, a bunch of uh, leaders in the digital payment space to say that they have uh, they are representing the top companies in india would be an understatement today's discussion is largely going to be about uh, what digital payments uh, infrastructure change the revolution the evolution has done for this country the opportunities that exist uh, i i can't even begin to tell you what lies ahead but we are going to discuss about uh, what has happened and uh, the opportunities for uh, businesses as well as business owners such as you uh, that are present today how these opportunities are now evolving uh, so we have um, i w i can let everybody very very quickly just say one line about their company and themselves so that you can relate with them better and then we start the discussion tanya i'll let you know. thanks and good morning to everybody it's uh, truly an honor to be uh, you know part of this panel among such uh, esteemed speakers and uh, lovely to see all of you here uh, my name is tanya i work for paypal uh, paypal as you know is one of the oldest financial payments company it's present in over 200 uh, countries uh, 100 plus currencies we serve over 18 million merchants and 270 con million consumers worldwide Uh, I work for the payments team in India. Thank you. Hi, uh, my name is Ashneer. I'm the founder of this company, Bharat Pay. Um, at Bharat Pay, we put out uh, UPI QR codes at uh, long tail merchants. So basically, what we are trying to do is, uh, you know, promote mobile payments using UPI uh, at offline retail. Hi, everyone. Uh, My name is Vikas Pansal. I head up uh, financial services and uh, new payments within Amazon Pay. What Amazon Pay is, uh, we are on a mission to make it the most convenient and rewarding way to pay and get 100% digital payments penetration in India. And uh, we, as you know, we work very clo very closely with Amazon Marketplace as well as all other leading merchants now in India. Hello everyone. I am Puneet Jain. Uh, uh, I built and lead uh, online merchant payments at Paytm. Uh, Paytm, of course, is a marketer in this space, and uh, I consider myself fortunate to be part of this journey for last five years. Hi everyone. I am Akash. I am founder of Cashfree. Cashfree is a payment technology startup. So we help businesses collect payments online and disburse money at scale. Our focus has been, you know, to build a right infrastructure and stack for businesses in India. and we are moving in that direction like you know one day at a time thanks akash uh, thanks uh, thanks everybody for having me here today good morning my name is rohit and i lead pioneer in india pioneer is a cross border b2b payments platform which largely means that any person uh, who has a business uh, wants to export whether goods or services and wants to collect money across various currencies various countries we offer them a seamless platform to do it at one go Uh, that's that's what Pioneer does. Uh, what uh, the first thing that comes to mind when uh, we talk about digital payments uh, story in India so far is the way um, the government as well as the way the uh, players in the ecosystem have transitioned uh, payments infrastructure from before to now. Uh, how they've digitized it and how it is helping both the business side as well as the consumer side i'm going to take my first question with the uh, with vikas um, you know amazon pay today is uh, is one of the interesting formats that are coming in we know that uh, i'll take it from paytm also uh, we know that uh, demonetization led to this influx of uh consumers getting onto the digital platform they were forced to it and now i think they enjoy it um uh, i want to know from you uh how uh, well do you think international companies like amazon will be able to position themselves uh in india before we understand the india story i want to know what the foreign players are thinking sure um so one thing i want to say is that we are an indian company run by indians though we have investors that are foreign investors so right we are absolutely run by indians in india in terms of amazon uh, pay you know as you know amazon globally uh, works really uh, backwards from the customer so it is all about um, 
you know what customer needs and pain points are and can we develop solutions that can really meet and meet those needs and this is on this is what we are on a mission and then what we are thinking through is when it comes to payments payments is a very vast space right it impacts every industry um, you know from any retail to every everything it covers and then because of that reach we cannot force fit one payment method uh, on the customer customer needs to have the choice of payment method so uh, so that is why we are saying if uh, cu customer is a credit card user we want to offer them a credit card if the customer is uh, has bank payments they want to do we want to do upi we want to do debit cards we want to um, offer all suite of solutions you know so that the customers have a choice um, and then the other thing we are saying is that we in india we are realizing is that you know because of this such a small penetration of digital payments that we really need to create that habit right and it is really really early days and i think for all of us here there is so much opportunity to to really penetrate and all of us will win and the customers will win as well when we really grow this space and this requires a lot of collaboration and partnership with each other with banks with new fintech companies and that's how we are thinking about it part about uh, partnerships the one that vikas mentioned is the multiple partnerships that can be established by ptm to facilitate businesses as well as consumers uh, how has the digital story changed for ptm uh, in the last one year and how are you looking to actually take this digital revolution ahead in terms of payments because as vikas mentioned from uh, the consumer choice from uh, a debit card to whether using a wallet or whether uh, using another format of access of payment is is something that i'm sure a company like yours is closely looking at sure so uh, first allow me to uh, break the digital payment system from the from the perspective of customers and merchants so that we understand where the opportunity lies for paytm and everyone else so typically uh, the way we see it, there is a financial account which uh, Uh, is a typical savings account, a uh, current account, or a wallet, or a credit, which customer uses for a source of funds. Then we have a form factor, uh, which is like a method or a medium which customer uses to complete transactions. So your uh, uh, card, your cash is actually a form factor, and then uh, mobile, which has emerged to be the biggest form factor which everyone is leveraging. And then followed by uh, acceptance infrastructure on the merchant side. which traditionally used to be a edc machine or uh, where customers can come and swipe cards or uh, your payment gateway in the online parlance and now we have the things like qr codes which are far more ubiquitous and far more scalable so at what we have done at paytm and i think this is what all, all uh, uh, industry leaders are also trying to do is figure out opportunities of innovation in this in this value chain so probably uh, Uh, uh with wallet what we did was leverage mobile as a medium to reach out to a large number of users which possibly couldn't have been done from card and we created thing like account tokenization to create a seamless consumer experience then happened upi uh, another huge uh, uh, outcome of uh, indian digital payments uh, 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 success story it further built a mobile first payment method which 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 leverages the fact that every one of us are carrying smartphones and this market is only growing from here so and and uh, similarly on the interest uh, acceptance science we created qr codes which allowed us to reach out to the large number of smes and micro merchants spread across the country in a much more scalable and economically feasible way so essentially there are lot of innovation happening in this second and third layer First layer is more or less regulated, so we the industry is more gradual in nature. But what wallets and UPI have done is democratize the the payment system for everybody. So now everybody uh, outside banks, which are earlier the custodians of payment system, can come up and set up their uh, uh, consumer-facing platforms, create consumer accounts, and dip into these payment methods and start building consumer-friendly, business-friendly payment mechanisms. So this has been, according to me, the 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 real changes over last few years, and I think at Paytm will continue to focus on these opportunities to further improve consumer experience. Um, when uh, we are talking about.
about consumer first mobile first and also innovation uh, in your experience what has uh, worked the best for uh, consumers and where do you think the positioning today has to be for a company like yours see cashfee is a b2b company but our aim has always been to help businesses provide best experience to their customers right so with the rise in digital payments customers have been able to pay you know pay for their orders quickly right if i can scan the qr code or scan the you know paytm qr code money leaves my account like you know within 5 seconds or 10 seconds when we when it comes to refunds then customers have always been to you know wait for 7 days 10 days to get the money back and there has always been discontent among the customers they always come back saying ki you debit my money instantly but you take like 10 days to give the money back right so there we focus primarily on work with merchants to help them you know ease these kind of payment methods right so be it like you know sending the refund faster to the customer or paying wage for your on demand service provider right or paying to your customer for the rewards you know on the web website like cashback and all right so this cannot be solved just by you know making things easier for the customer the entire experience the customer experience also depends on what businesses are using right if businesses are not using the right tool then customer experience will suffer at some point of time because we have to see the entire you know life cycle as experience not just the payment part right so we come like you know at the other side of the you know the court and we try to improve things from that angle that uh, businesses today have a lot more choice than what they had before in terms of uh, the payment gateways of course uh, uh, wallets are not the only uh, uh, platforms available and um, uh, how much can businesses really uh, you know uh, make their offering better because digital uh, payments specifically payments is a very very unique and uh, personalized consumer experience and and it affects the business in a large way you're right and i think uh, if i were to kind of take the uber level approach of what does this mean and bifurcate this there are actually many things that have happened in digital payments uh, and some of these have driven many more benefits just beyond you know making the money move from cash to non cash methods of payment uh, and some of the drivers here and i would like to talk about some value drivers are things like india stack right so you have aadhar in it you have upi in it bunch of things that are there in it right uh, what has that made possible is a cashless layer of course we should talk about a presenceless layer uh, they talk about consent where you know uh, if you look at europe for example they are talking about gdpr now but we came up with a consent layer much much earlier where we wanted the user actually to participate with the business both as a consumer and a business to make it completely uh, you know uh, a, a, a pull mechanism Uh, if you look back at how developed economies are uh, people were very much you know uh, economically rich before they were data rich so it was you bought a mobile phone here you can now buy a case cover for it you bought a television please you know take tata sky for it or whatever the other uh, benefits was it was advertising led in india we are now much more data rich because of digitalization than we are economically rich india's ppp is probably 120th of that of let's say us right so users in india will have the choice of pull they will be able to select what they want today if my as a business my my rating is much higher than anyone else's because i have a very strong business my customers like my products they like the service that i offer i can go to any provider whether it's a bank or a fintech and ask for a finance or a loan which is at a much lower rate because i know the value of my data right so that's the change that cashless or uh, digitalization is driving uh, even when as i talk about lending which is another element in that uh, probably most of the transactions when it happened at a merchant level were cash there was never a trace so if i combine you know digitalization and gst there is now a trace so today or earlier when i had to borrow from money lenders at probably you know 24 30 60 aprs i can now go to uh, organized capital providers and borrow at a much lower rate so these are the value drivers that are getting done in the system and that's something which is over and about just the form factor of which puneet spoke about which are really you know big things that are happening uh, and i guess a bunch of things on the consumer side also that are happening uh, in terms of emi and stuff like that uh, which probably you know uh, paypal or amazon can touch upon uh, but overall pretty exciting times for us 
uh, to see these new developments happen and overall improvements that we see in the way things are getting done. Today, bringing, uh, bringing mobile payments to retail stores has become extremely important. Okay? Everything happens digitally, but how do you bring uh, mobile payments also to digital stores? Uh, do you feel that uh, UPI could be the game changer there? And uh, uh, do you think that uh, businesses today are, are using UPI and they are also in the position to be able to pivot themselves better, facilitated by this payment uh, process? Uh, yeah, so UPI is a very game changer hai, as far as I think uh, in the market. Because what is happening if you have payments, basically what is happening is that you have to take money from one person and give it to the other person. And in the middle, the payment company has put a tolling on its own. That I will take 2% in the middle. I think that is the biggest disservice which happens in the payment industry. Because technically, if you have given money from an individual to an individual, or if you have given money from an individual to a business, there is no difference in computing and technology. After UPI, there is no difference in UPI. So, if I give my friend 3,000 rupees, or if I give my friend 3,000 rupees, then why do you cut 60 rupees in that store? And after UPI, I think that the biggest change can be the biggest change. And, you know, as payments companies, we have to change a little bit. Or, don't take the tolling mindset. The simple thing is that if कोई आपको 2000 रुपए का नोट देके जाता है, आपकी हाथ में भी 2000 रुपए का ही नोट आता है, ठीक है? And that's why जो रिटेलर है वो कैश लेके खुश है, उसको वाइट ब्लैक का कुछ नहीं रखना पड़ा, उसको भी पता है कि वाइट में ही धंधा करना है आगे जाके, but उसको ये है कि यार अगर मैं पेमेंट्स लेने के लिए कार्ड्स the P2P payments and P2M payments are going to be finished with the difference. And technically, the difference will be finished when you say that the payment is free for the merchant. That means that as a payment company, you will get an entry to the payment in the shop. What do you do with business and you have to think about it. Now, that is the tolling of the tolling. Today, the retailer is also very understanding. He knows that if I am giving 2% of my margin, 6% of my margin. मैं 25 परसेंट प्रॉफिट तो पेमेंट कंपनीज को दे रहा हूँ मैं कमा क्या रहा हूँ उसमें टेक इट फ्रॉम यू तानिया बिकॉज़ पेपाल ऑफ कोर्स अ लॉट ऑफ एक्सपोर्ट्स एंड अदर यू नो एक्टिविटीज आर डन वाया पेपाल वेरी सिग्निफिकेंट फॉर बिजनेसेस टुडे टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट वाया दे पेइंग दैट which Ashtir is mentioning to the payments company. Till now, uh, the discussion was that there is no other way around. But do you see that there is another way around? And do you think that uh, payment gateways and payment companies are actually rethinking their business model to be able to facilitate this merchant who wants to, uh, wants to make use of uh, this evolved thought? No, of course, and I think uh, more than payment companies, there is so much policy work that has gone into uh, making the entire payment system affordable in itself. I want to tell you, you know, when I started my career as a banker, I used to handle cash management, cash being the operative word for uh, a large telecom company. And I used to get uh, calls on a daily basis from five or seven collection heads, you know, asking me whether the check has been picked up, whether the cash has been picked up. Sometimes I used to get frantic calls on, you know, the fact that uh, someone was held at gunpoint and the cash van actually had, was stolen. And, you know, those kind of things uh, used to make me always wonder and used to ask the collections team as to why is it that consumers are not adapting to electronic payments and back then you know IMP has just taken off wallets was of course you know picking up steam in the in the market and the team used to constantly tell me you know what it is easy for the consumer to walk into a store pay by check pay by cash it's it's nice to have a receipt at the end of the day and it is also nice to know that you know my payment is uh, secured uh, with a receipt and I can close a lot of disputes I can close a lot of inquiries while I'm at the store. Uh, 
they did mention that yeah we do have digital payments at that point of time but it was an idea whose time had not yet come and for the merchant which is the likes of a telecom company who of course have a lot more margins to talk through at that point of time and for small and medium scale cons uh, merchants i think the biggest re repellent for digital payments was the cost of actually acquiring a transaction and then of course we had a watershed moment uh, post which uh, a lot of things came together there was a seamless partnership that we saw across payment companies banks technology companies and policy makers who worked towards creating a, a framework which was truly i think world class way ahead of its time we had upi which was nothing but an abstraction of a bank account and an id then you had open apis which made it possible for companies like us to you know facilitate fund transfers in spite of not being in banking it was affordable it was cheap because the regulator made it possible in a way where you know those payments were subsidized for merchants and for consumers alike and uh, that's where it kind of led towards so i think so much work has happened uh, we do have a lot more to conquer but uh, as a consumer if we focus on the three things that you know we heard back then which was convenience safety security and the assurance that you know while it's still digital there is a human touch available and for merchants we need to make sure that you know the infrastructure is cheap and cost affordable that's that's my take on it